If you're unfamiliar, Pokemon Go is a hugely popular new reality game that uses GPS and allows players to search locations in the real world for virtual creatures on their phones. Pokemon and this stands for Pocket Monsters. They're like little creatures you train and fight. I've been growing up with them since my childhood. There are many shapes and shapes and sizes based on different kinds of animals and objects, and I am really excited to see Pokemon Fever picking up again. As the Pokemon phenomenon continues, officials have already warned to be safe while playing this game. Now the new focus of Pokemon Go is, is it disrespectful to play around certain monuments? I feel like more people are focused on the Pokemon than actually like learning history behind those places. So yeah, I think that's sort of disrespectful. Another Pokemon Go player, Eric Doyle, said although he is an avid fan of the game and enjoys getting out and playing it with others, the virtual game should only be utilized at certain times. Also heard warnings about people not going to graveyards as well because that's, that's, that's also a very sensitive area. I believe that people should be mindful. You have to be respectful about where you're going. I look around and everybody around here is walking around on their phone. Ryan King said he agrees that it is disrespectful at certain types of landmarks. However, there is a way you can still play and be respectful. Well, I mean, if they're like the Pokestops, it's something that you can kind of just like bypass and then, you know, pull out your phone real quick and then get whatever items are from there. So that would take a few seconds. Now, I don't agree with people then, you know, actually playing the game and not actually paying attention to what's around them and what kind of the monuments or the museums are trying to teach them. The game has prompted many questions as to how safe it is as people can seem unaware of their surroundings, can be found trespassing, trying to collect items, attracts more people to a specific location, prompting possible crime, and now the questioning of the locations of the Pokestops. However, the game continues to grow. Pokemon Go is now the biggest mobile game in U.S. history, according to a report released late today. In addition, within the three days since its release, it has attracted more users than Twitter and is at the top of the app store revenue charts earning millions of dollars a day. Again, officials say if you got to catch them all, make sure that you are aware of your surroundings, not only for safety reasons, but out of respect. Reporting in the Morristown Green, Melissa Stock, WNBC News.